Sue Bradford Edwards here. I'm a nonfiction author who loves to read and loves to recommend books to other people. Tonight I'm going to be telling you about Mango, Abuela and Me by Meg Medina. It's illustrated by Angela Dominguez. You have to excuse me, I'm working tonight around our cat who wouldn't quit yowling unless I put her on my lap. Uh, this book is about a little girl and her grandmother, and Abuela lived in a small house between two rivers. She had ma a mango tree in her yard, and there were parrots, and then she has to leave that to come live in the city with Mia, her granddaughter, and her family. And Mila, Mia and Abuela are close physically. They have to share a bedroom, you know, they're there in the evening, but they're really not close because Mia barely speaks any Spanish, Abuela barely speaks any English, and they're just kind of there. They want to connect, but they can't. They can't talk to each other. And Mia is encouraged by her mom to remember how she helped a new friend at school learn English by telling her the names of various things. So Mia gets out a pack of post-it notes and labels everything in the apartment. You know, the lamp, the table, even her hamster. And gram Grandma Abuela is starting to catch on. And then uh, Mia and her mother go to buy some hamster food, and Mia sees a parrot in the window. And she just has to get this parrot for her grandmother. So they bring the parrot home, and Abuela names him Mango. And together, they teach him. Abuela teaches Mango Spanish, Mia teaches Mango English. And they learn as well. And by the time the parrot has learned the days of the week and how to say good afternoon and everything else, Abuela and Mia are telling each other things. Abuela's talking about Abuelo, the little girl's grandfather, who hasn't been around for a long time. The little girl's never met him. But this is her chance to learn some things about him. And the little girl can tell Abuela about her day. And they're doing a lot more by the end of the book than just sharing a room. They're sharing their lives. And I really loved this book. It's multicultural and multi-generational without having this big label on the front that says, Oh, by me, I do all the right things. It's just naturally there in the story. And Meg Medina did a really good job of crafting this multi-generational story, which, you know, so often we think of a family as mom and dad and the kids, but there are cultures where the grandparents live with the family, and this represents that, and I think it's really important. Um, Angela Dominguez did her art in ink and marker with some digital, and I just love the colorful art in this book. You know, it's kind of cartoony, and it's a lot of fun. Here's the girl and Abuela making empanada in the kitchen when Grandma has already started to learn, and they exchange the names of everything that goes into making these empanada. This would make a great story time reading book. It would be an excellent gift for a new grandparent or a book to share in the classroom because there's so many themes that come from this book. The multi-generational families, the tolerance and immigration, multiculturalism. There is so much to be found in this one brief picture book. I can't recommend it enough and I hope you'll get a hold of it and share it with a young reader in your life today. Thank you, and happy reading, everybody.